this, but uh, if, uh, if have you seen these days, we are learning here, Bill Mollison and Jeff Lawton doesn't use PowerPoint. They doesn't use Fast Go. Uh, yeah, actually, the announcement is after the day, so they could use computer Okay. <laughs> Okay, but there is uh, one thing that uh, makes me choose this, uh, this kind of uh, technique. That's about this thing. What? Improvisation. And uh, what's special about improvisation? Uh, in Portugal we have uh, some stories that uh, we are a land of sailors like Turkey. And uh, we used to tell that um, in the old times, in every pirate boat, there was a Portuguese. And the reason for that is because uh, Portuguese are, in some places, known for their good improvisation skills. Uh, we used to say that um, the, main, the main goal of the, por the Portuguese on a pirate boat uh, was when everything got really bad, they would get the Portuguese to do something. Um, and uh, the big advantage of this is that if you want to be a permaculturist, you have to learn how, a lot how to improvisate. Um, how to get some lost resources that nobody remembers and put them inside of the system again and put them in action. So improvisation is um, really important stuff. And also permaculturists are very known for their improvisation skills. Um, not so known as the Africans, because they are the best in the world. Um, okay. And improvisation. Okay. And improvisation many times takes us to understand life and the connections of life, because uh, permaculturists are also that um, connection makers. They look for the connections that nobody sees and put them in, into action. And uh, from their connections, they create life. And um, about life and about patterns, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, a symbol I really like. And the symbol is this. Does, it, does anyone know what is it? That's a mountain. Yeah, that's a mountain. Does anyone know what is this? A mountain in the lake. The east of the mountain. This is a mountain. This is the lake. This is the valley. It's very simple. And what does the valley have here? The river. Water. And what does the mountain have here? No. <laughs> yeah, that's water also. The mountain gives the water to the valley. And water is life. Wherever there is water, there is life. The origin of life on this planet was water. So. If we combine both of them, we get to this shape. Does anybody know what is this shape? Diamonds. <laughs> no, what's special about diamonds? They're precious. They're precious. They're the most precious thing on this this planet. More precious than gold. It's the most the most rich uh, substance on this planet. And. Uh, from this shape on, and from this richness, I'll show you another richness that I find very special. The circle. This is me. Well, because uh, permaculture is um, being optimist. This is me. And around me, there is my family, really close, and my close.
close friends and uh, people that I, that I don't see so usually, other friends or family that are more far away. All around me, one close, some closer, some more far away. But um, we call this the, it's my uh, area of action. It's where I exchange what I know or what I think, the resources I have, and it's also where I get resources out of me. People that teach me, things that I learn. And um, like I told you, a permaculturist, and if I want to be a, perma a permaculturist, I need to connect the dots. And to connect the dots, what is the best way? On a line, straight line? No. So we'll connect the dots in another way, permaculture way. That's it. This shape is called the amoeba. Amoeba shape. Well, in Portuguese, it's like this. In English, it might be a um, oh, yeah. H. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, this can be also um, said to be a meandric, meandric shape. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, and you can see still the closest friend I have, family, and here are the people that are more far away. But I'm still connected.